and welcome to another episode of Five Minutes with Freed. I'm your host, Michael Freed. I'm a litigation partner in the matrimonial and family law firm of Berkman, Botker, Newman, and Schein, with offices in New York City and Westchester. Today, my special guest is Edward Flanagan of Expense Reduction Analyst. So Edward, welcome to Five Minutes with Freed. No, thank you, Michael. So Edward, tell us what you do at Expense Reduction Analyst. Yes, Michael, uh, Expense Reduction Analyst, also known as ERA, is a global cost consultancy. Uh, we're located in 36 different countries. And what we do is we help our clients make sure that their overhead, also known as sales, general, and marketing expenses are in good shape. Uh, we do not look at salary, we look at all the other uh, expense areas. And what we're trying to do is to uh, make sure the client has uh, hidden cash flow to hire more people, to fund a pet project, and also to help their bottom line. So and, and now as a, you know, I'm a matrimonial family law attorney. And what do you think uh, my clients would need your services the most? Well, I know, uh, you know, matrimonial and divorce cases are, are, are difficult to go through. And one of the things we could do to help your clients is to make sure their expenses are in good shape and help them uh, reduce costs, their costs. And uh, what do you think are the biggest challenges you face on a daily basis at expense reduction and analysts? Yes. Uh, when I meet with a prospect and we discuss our services and we actually work uh, on a contingency basis, uh, the prospect uh, believes that we can help them, but they have a challenge where they're just so busy, uh, they don't have time to take on a new endeavor. And what they don't realize is that uh, we take on all the work. Uh, we might need one or two hours from them for each category we look at. So that's a challenge. The other challenge is a lot of times uh, the, the clients, uh, scared that we might come in and hit a home run and find savings in the 30 to 40 percent range and they may look good they may not look good in, in the company's eyes and the third challenge we get is uh, supplier relationships a lot of times the prospects suppliers are like family they've been with them 5 10 15 years and they think that we mess we might mess up that relationship and basically uh, the best thing that could happen is the current supplier remains and the only change is improved pricing. So we're not coming in to get rid of their supplier and bring a new supplier in. If they're happy with their supplier, let's see if we can get uh, them to retain and improve the pricing. Sure. Now, uh, Ed, what would be the best way for a prospective client or other professional to contact you? Yes, you can either contact me uh, at my phone number, which is area code 215-801-5337, uh, where they can reach out to me with an email. And my email address is eflanagan at expense reduction analyst. So E-F-L-A-N-A-G-A-N at expense reduction dot com. Now, Ed, we've come to the most important part of the show. It's the question of the week. And your question is as follows. If you were perpetually surrounded by one aroma besides your natural smell, which you and everyone else around you could smell, what would that smell be? I, I love that question, Michael. Uh Prior to getting involved with ex expense reduction analysts, I worked in the home building industry and we built homes. And during the weekends, I would visit some of our model homes and some of the better salespeople would put vanilla mm -hmm. on a piece of bread or a baking sheet, stick it in the oven. And when you came into the model home, you thought they were baking cookies. And I love that smell. That would, that's a great answer. That would be great. Well, Ed, Ed Flanagan, you've said it all. 
you, you're taking on the work obligations of the everyday businessman one day at a time and doing an amazing job at that. And Ed, I just wanted to thank you for being a wonderful guest on Five Minutes with Freed. All right. Thanks for the opportunity, Michael. I enjoyed it.